I wanted to explain to you the auto augmentation technique that I do for breast reductions and breast lifts. The difference between a breast reduction and a breast lift is really just whether we are moving the breast tissue up here, that's a breast lift, also called a mastopexy, or whether we're also reducing the volume, the size of the breast, and moving tissue up here. Both techniques involve creating scars that are permanent, they take about a year to fade, and the scars that you can expect are a lollipop, one around the nipple and the areola, and a vertical one down to the fold, and another scar that's hidden in the breast fold. They should be hidden in a triangle bikini top. The auto augmentation part of the procedure involves dissecting a pocket up top where normally you put a breast implant and that's where we actually rotate the breast tissue up into. So we're really augmenting the chest with our patient's own breast tissue. Patients can expect a very nice round perky breast shape if this is a breast fold, all the breast tissue should be sitting high and tight above the fold after surgery. We lift you this way, that's why we need to create a horizontal incision. We narrow you this way, and that's why we need a vertical incision. And we also add some liposuction of the armpit fat, that's called the axillary roll, the bra roll fat, and the annoying fat roll that develops underneath the breast. The auto augmentation technique will create a breast shape which is nice and round and perky. It takes about three to six weeks for the initial swelling to go down. And eventually you can expect a nice teardrop shape, but the breast is never gonna age or droop the same way after surgery because we have changed the internal architecture of the breast. Results are permanent. If you gain weight, the breasts tend to increase in volume a little bit. If you lose weight, the breasts tend to shrink a little bit, but breast lift and breast Reduction surgeries are amazing, they're life-changing. Wearing a bra is totally optional after surgery and they're so rewarding for us because we can see our patient's happiness and often patients come in not wearing a bra after surgery. Hopefully that information helps. If you're more interested in learning more, visit my website.